The hum of the Odyssey's engines was a constant companion, a lullaby of progress that soothed Alara Singh's ever-curious mind. As the spaceship hurtled through the vast expanse of space, she couldn't help but feel a familiar thrill of anticipation. This mission to Epsilon Eridani B was more than just another job. It was the culmination of a lifelong dream. Alara stood at the observation deck, staring out at the stars, her mind wandering back to the days of her childhood. Growing up, she had been captivated by stories of space exploration, her father's tales of the cosmos lighting a fire in her heart. Her first space flight had been a revelation, the moment she knew she was destined to roam the stars. But it was the loss of her younger brother in a tragic accident that had solidified her resolve to push the boundaries of human knowledge, to seek out new worlds where humanity could start anew. Alara, you're going to wear a hole in the glass. A voice broke through her reverie. She turned to see Dr. Jun Wei, the mission's biologist, approaching with a friendly smile. Just thinking about what we might find down there, she replied, returning his smile. A whole new world, Jun. Can you imagine? Dr. Wei nodded, his expression thoughtful. It's a biologist's dream, but we have to remember, our primary goal is to study, not to conquer. We must be careful. Alara understood his caution. Dr. Wei had always been a voice of reason, his ethical considerations a counterbalance to her adventurous spirit. His work on alien ecosystems was groundbreaking, but it came with a heavy burden. The potential for exploitation and harm weighed heavily on him, especially given humanity's track record on Earth. The intercom crackled to life, and Captain Mikhail Petrov's voice filled the deck. All hands, prepare for descent. We'll be landing on Epsilon Eridani B in ten minutes. Alara felt a surge of excitement. This is it, she said, glancing at Dr. Wei. Let's make history. The landing was smooth, the Odyssey touching down on the lush surface of Epsilon Eridani B with barely a jolt. As the crew disembarked, they were greeted by a landscape teeming with life. Towering trees with bioluminescent leaves cast an ethereal glow, while strange, colorful creatures flitted through the air. Captain Petrov took charge, directing the crew to set up a base camp. Alara and Dr. Wei, along with a few other team members, began their preliminary exploration. The air was rich with unfamiliar scents, and the sounds of alien wildlife created a symphony of curiosity. This place is incredible, Alara whispered, her eyes wide with wonder. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Dr. Wei was already collecting samples, his keen eyes scanning the surroundings. The biodiversity here is astonishing. We need to be thorough in our documentation. As they ventured further into the jungle, they stumbled upon something unexpected. Ancient ruins, half buried in the undergrowth. Alara's heart raced as she approached the weathered stones, her mind racing with possibilities. Look at these carvings, she said, tracing her fingers over the intricate patterns. This civilization must have been advanced. Dr. Wei examined the ruins with equal fascination. We need to understand what happened here. Why did they vanish? Their exploration was interrupted by a sudden, violent rustling in the bushes. The crew tensed weapons at the ready. From the foliage emerged a group of indigenous beings, their forms humanoid but distinctly alien. They communicated with each other through a series of clicks and whistles, their eyes wary and intelligent. Alara stepped forward, her hands raised in a gesture of peace. We mean you no harm, she said slowly hoping they could understand her intentions point one of the beings, larger and more elaborately adorned than the others, stepped forward. It studied Alara for a moment before mimicking her gesture. The tension eased slightly, but the message was clear. They were not welcome. We should retreat, Dr. Wei whispered. We don't want to provoke them. Reluctantly, Alara agreed. As they backed away, she couldn't shake the feeling that these beings held the key to understanding the planet's past and its future. Back at the base, the crew gathered to discuss their findings. Captain Petrov listened intently as Alara and Dr. Wei recounted their encounter. We need to be careful, Dr. Wei reiterated. These beings are intelligent, possibly sentient. We can't just bulldoze our way through their home. Captain Petrov's expression was unreadable. 
Our mission is to determine this planet's suitability for colonization. We can't let a few primitive creatures stand in our way. Alara bristled at his words. They're not primitive, Captain. They're intelligent and clearly capable of communication. We have to find a way to coexist. The debate was interrupted by a sudden, loud crash from outside. The crew rushed out to find part of their base destroyed, the result of a skirmish with the indigenous beings. Fear and confusion spread among the crew. We need to defend ourselves, one of the crew members shouted. We can't let them destroy everything. Captain Petrov seized the moment. Prepare the defenses. We can't afford to lose this mission. Alara watched in dismay as the crew armed themselves. She knew this approach would only lead to more violence. Desperate for a solution, she turned to Dr. Wei. We have to try and communicate with them, she said. Find out what they want, why they're attacking us. Dr. Wei nodded, determination in his eyes. I'll go with you. We have to show them we mean no harm. As Alara and Dr. Wei ventured back into the jungle, they were acutely aware of the danger. But their mission was clear. Establish communication and find a way to coexist. They reached the ruins again, and this time they waited. Slowly, the indigenous beings emerged, their eyes filled with suspicion. Alara stepped forward, holding out a small device that translated basic phrases. We come in peace, she said, her voice steady. We want to understand you. The leader of the beings stepped forward, taking the device. It studied them for a long moment before speaking in a halting, but understandable language. Why you here? Why you destroy? Alara's heart ached at the accusation. We didn't come to destroy, Alara said earnestly. We came to explore and learn. We want to coexist, not conquer. The being's gaze softened slightly, but suspicion remained. You take. You hurt. We protect. Dr. Wei stepped forward, his voice calm and soothing. We don't want to hurt you or take what is yours. We want to understand your world, your history. Maybe we can help each other. The leader exchanged glances with the others in the group, then nodded slowly. Talk, learn, but no harm. If harm, we fight. Relief washed over Ilara. This was a tentative step towards understanding. They had to make it count. Back at the base, tensions were high. Captain Petrov was skeptical of Ilara and Dr. Wei's diplomatic approach, but he allowed them to proceed albeit with caution. As days turned into weeks, Alara and Dr. Wei worked closely with the indigenous beings. They learned that the planet, once home to a highly advanced civilization, had been abandoned due to catastrophic environmental changes. The remaining population had regressed technologically but retained a deep connection to their environment. The ruins, it turned out, were not just remnants of the past but active centers of energy. The beings used them to maintain the delicate balance of their ecosystem. The crew's initial presence had disrupted this balance, causing the aggressive response. Alara was fascinated by their knowledge and culture. There's so much we can learn from them, she told Dr. Wei one evening. They have a deep understanding of their world that we lack. Dr. Wei nodded. And they can teach us about sustainable living. We need this knowledge if we are to survive in the long run. However, not everyone shared their enthusiasm. Captain Petrov grew increasingly impatient. We need results, Alara. The higher-ups won't wait forever. Alara understood his frustration but remained resolute. We can't rush this, Captain. If we push too hard, we'll lose their trust and any chance of peaceful coexistence. One night, while the crew slept, Alara discovered a hidden chamber within the ruins. The walls were covered in carvings that told the story of the ancient civilization. As she deciphered the symbols, a chilling realization dawned on her. The previous human visitors had come not to explore, but to exploit, leading to a devastating war that had nearly wiped out the indigenous population. She rushed to Dr. Wei with the news. We have to tell the captain. This changes everything. Captain Petrov listened with a grim expression. So, we were here before and we messed up. But that doesn't change our mission. It changes everything, Alara insisted. We have to make amends. We can't repeat the mistakes of the past. Petrov was silent for a long moment. All right, 
We'll try it your way. But if this goes south, it's on you. The next day, Alara, Dr. Wei, and Captain Petrov met with the indigenous leaders. Alara explained what they had discovered, expressing their regret for the actions of the past and their desire to build a new relationship based on mutual respect. The leader listened intently, then spoke. You learn. You change. This good. But trust is hard. Must earn. Dr. Wei stepped forward, his voice filled with conviction. We will earn it. We promise. As they worked together, the tension between the two groups began to ease. The crew helped repair the damage they had caused, and in return, the beings shared their knowledge of the planet's energy sources and ecosystem. However, not all was smooth sailing. An unexpected attack from a rogue faction within the indigenous population led to a fierce battle. Dr. Wei, in a heroic act, sacrificed himself to protect both his crew and the indigenous beings. His death was a turning point, a reminder of the cost of misunderstanding and conflict. In the aftermath, Alara and the crew worked tirelessly to honor Dr. Wei's legacy. They forged a pact with the indigenous beings, establishing guidelines for future interactions and setting up a research station to study the planet without disrupting its balance. Alara, now taking on a leadership role, reflected on the journey. They had faced incredible challenges, but they had also made unprecedented discoveries and formed a bond that would shape the future of human exploration. As the Odyssey prepared to leave Epsilon Eridani B, Alara stood on the observation deck, looking out at the stars once more. She felt a sense of accomplishment and a renewed sense of purpose. We did it, June, she whispered, thinking of her fallen friend. We made a difference. And as the ship ascended into the sky, leaving the planet behind, Alara knew that this was just the beginning. There were countless other worlds out there, each with its own secrets and challenges. And she was ready to face them all, armed with the knowledge that the key to exploration was not conquest, but coexistence. Legacy. The mission to Epsilon Eridani B had a profound impact on future colonization efforts. The ethical guidelines established by Alara and her crew became a model for how humanity approached new worlds. Dr. Wei's sacrifice was honored by naming the research station after him, a reminder of the importance of understanding and respecting the unknown. Alara continued her career in space exploration, leading missions that prioritized peaceful coexistence and mutual respect. She became a mentor to a new generation of explorers, passing on the lessons she had learned. And somewhere in the vast expanse of the universe, the memory of the mission to Epsilon Eridani be lived on a beacon of hope and a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration.